Hello and welcome. Um, just uh, my name's Clint Higley, and today I'm going to be taking you through um, some new features um, with our new version of Doc, newest version of Documents Core Pack. Um, the features that I'm going to cover today are um, being able to um, create a document and attach it to an actual Outlook email, and have that open it up in my actual um, in my Outlook client. Um, and uh, then the, uh, the next thing that I want to show is the use of um, being able to fire off a workflow um, after going through the Documents Core Pack dialog. Um, so just to kind of show you here, um, here's a little quick look at my calendar here. So what I'm going to want to do here is um, today's the 9th. And what I'd like to do here is send a quote out to a customer um, and then have a workflow trigger that's going to set me up uh, to... Uh, make a phone call to that customer um, tomorrow to follow up, um, basically. Um, and I want to do all that through my Outlook client, not through the standard um, CRM uh, email client. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open up my quote here. Just a standard quote um, uh, inside of CRM here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and use, uh, go ahead and create this document here. Um, just because we're in the testing phase, I'm um, going to go ahead and decide every step before I create my one-click action here. So I'll decide every step. Um, I will pick my email template, or my, um, my quote template, um, and then go ahead and set my settings up. So I will do this as a PDF. I'll set it up for email attachment. Um, I'll have it open in the local email client, uh, so in Outlook. Um, and then I'm going to run the following workflow to, uh, to set up that phone call. Um, so I'll go ahead and click next just to kind of test this out. Now what it's going to do is it's going to go through. It's created my document here. I can see that via the Insta preview. Um, and then I'll go ahead and click finish. Um, so now what happens is um, it goes ahead and it downloads uh, my email. So I can open that up. Um, opens it right up in Outlook here. Okay, so I didn't pick any two or anything like that, but I'll do that once I set this up uh, with the one-click action, so I'll show it to you again. But you can see here, it opens up my client. I have my attachment done here. And uh, then basically what it's done here is it's fired off this basic workflow um, that's creating a phone call activity uh, for me. Um, so now if I go back in here to CRM, um, go to my main page and take a quick look down here at my calendar, you can see here um, I've got a phone call uh, to follow up. Um, already set up for me. So I can take that and move that around, um, set it up to however I want to. You know, so we'll, okay. So now that we know that that's, uh, that works, what I want to do is go ahead and set up the one-click action for my user. Really simple to do. I'm going to go back into that particular quote here, and I'm going to go ahead and set everything up how um, I want my users to see it. So in order to do that, I'll again hit my Create Document button. Um, as a system administrator, I'm able to decide every step. Um, I'll pick my quote template here and uh, go ahead and run through these settings. So, for example, here I want to send this um, to Howard Higley. Um, I want to use the following email template here um, and uh, then want to set up uh, my quote, uh, my, uh, my uh, workflow that's going to update my phone call. Um, once I'm done with that, all my settings are correct. I'm going to save that configuration. Uh, I'm going to use that as the uh, I'm going to use the template as the default template. I want that template used every time. Um, don't want to be able to review my document. Um, so, uh, you know, basically, I just want to be able to uh, just kind of fire that quote off um, really quickly. Give this a name, uh, which would be. Um, And there we go. Um, a couple of these things, I'm going to override some of this behavior. So for the file type, um, as we send out all quotes in, P in a PDF format, um, I don't think that needs to be uh, seen here. T again, we're always attaching as an email, so I'll go ahead and hide this one as well. Um, 
I always want, again, to open this up in the local client, so I'll hide that as well. Uh, for my email recipient, I want them to be able to, um, to actually change that. Also want people to uh, be able to pick the uh, uh, email template as well. Or actually, you know what, I'll just show that and not allow changes to it. Um, again, uh, send the email. Um, don't need that setting as well. Don't need to print. And do not need to save this to SharePoint. And I will um, show that I'm actually going to be running this workflow, um, but not allow changes to it. Um, so once I'm done with that, I can click my Save button. And I'll just go ahead here and click Cancel. Um, now I'm ready to go. So I'll, uh, you know, just going to go ahead and test out this one-click action here. Um, so I hit my Create Document button. You can see here I've got this new uh, new button here that's going to send that quote or and uh, create a follow-up phone call activity. So I'll go ahead and click it. And uh, you can see here, let's see, I'm going to pick, yeah, Howard Higley. Again, I'm able to select these. Um, again, able to... Uh, uh, just kind of see that I, here I've got my quote email template and the workflow that I'm going to run update the quote here. Um, so I'll go ahead and click next. And um, it's going to go ahead and go through and uh, set that email up for me. So now here one of the nice features about it is I've got my, uh, my you know, the client here that I'm going to be sending this to. Uh, subject's already filled in. Uh, that's all coming from the template here. Um, so I'll go ahead here and I'll just go ahead and insert my signature here. Um, then I'm ready to go. Go ahead and fire this off. And again, as if we come back here um, to my calendar, you can see here for tomorrow, I've got it set up to where it's, uh, I've got a phone call activity ready to go. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the new features, just to kind of reiterate, um, being able to um, actually uh, create a document and attach it to um, uh, an Outlook email. Um, that's one of the new features. And uh, lastly, another new feature is uh, being able to um, fire off a workflow once I'm finished with um, uh, creating this document or going through the documents Corpac dialog. Um, so, thanks for watching, and uh, we will. Uh, as we do new features and everything like that, we'll update, um, we'll do some update videos and things of that nature with those, um, just to keep you a little bit more informed. So thank you, and uh, we will talk again soon.